Hey, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the ups and downs of being famous. So let's get into it. The ups is you have a lot of support. You know what I mean? People are nice to you. People, actually, this is kind of a up and a down because there are a lot of people that will just fake to be nice to you because you're famous. And then there will also be those people that have a newfound respect for you because they realize that you're more important to people than they realized. So there's fake people that will use you or want to be around you just because you're famous or people that will discover that you're more than what they've seen before because you're famous. So that kind of goes both ways. And honestly, the support is cool because if you're famous, like a lot of people that 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 just saw you as just another person will like pay attention to you more, which is cool, I guess. And also, that comes with a positive part and a price because when you're famous people want to showcase all your mistakes they want to make things worse than they really are and they, they just want to do anything and this isn't always this is I'm not saying this is the people that support you but I'm saying there are bad people out there that when you get famous they will try to bring you down and that's it's it's horrible but it's a part of being famous also when you're being famous like people act like oh people can say whatever they want to this person just because they're famous like I mean it's one thing if someone's trolling in the comments is messing around joking around but I'm just saying like people think they can threaten someone just because they're famous they think they can just say whatever they want like they think oh it's okay to say this to them it's okay to do this to them just because they're famous do not get me wrong I don't mind people joking around about me in the comments, but people threatening are that that's ridiculous. Like I don't get that too often, but like every now and then people will just try to say something like to actually bring me down cuz they have like no lives. So yeah. Let's get back to it. <clears throat> also, when you're famous, you are much more you're like much more likely to be criticized for what you do. Like there will be people that will try to stop you. There will be people that will try to talk you out of it. There will be people that will be jealous. So while the fame has its good parts and its bad parts, it's an amazing thing. Because imagine going in public, being recognized or appreciated by someone you never even seen before. It's awesome, man. Being able to make someone's day, it's awesome. It's one of the world's greatest pleasures. Honestly, it actually is. So yeah, honestly, the ups of being famous is you get recognized, you get appreciated, you get you get more friends, you get you get more connections to things, everything. Like you you just have more things that you get to do. And there's some downs too. The downs is the criticism, like I've already previously mentioned. Also, you can't you can't pick and choose when you want to be famous. It's an all-time thing. <clears throat> like you can't say, "Oh, I don't want to be recognized today," or "I don't want the attention today." Like you know what I mean? <clears throat> Even though I always love my fans, it's just it's just like if there was ever an awkward situation, like where it would just be awkward. Like you can't like let's just say. I'm at work, right, and I got to concentrate. Even though fans are awesome, I'm just saying. Let's say, let's just give this an example. Even though this hasn't happened, has not happened. I, I say, <clears throat> you're at work, right, and fans approach you, right. Like I'm just saying, it's just something you can't turn on or off. And the one time where I was recognized, and I was on a trip, like. And I wasn't really open about my TikTok at the time. It, it was just so awkward for me because I, I didn't and know what to say or I, I didn't know what to do. So it's great being famous. It's awesome being recognized by fans. But it's just something you can't turn off if you ever feel like it's a bad time. Or if you, if you don't want people knowing you're famous, that's not your choice. Because once you're famous, it, it just keeps going. The, the, the ball keeps rolling. I mean, it, it's just not something you get to choose. Even though my community seems pretty supportive of it, I'm just saying, like, 
it's just not something you get to choose and it's a good thing that my community supported in the way it came out but and I'm happy with it but it's just that that when you're famous you just don't get to pick when you want attention or you don't really get to pick like and the attention's awesome I love my fans more than anything the fans are my world and uh but I'm just saying this is not when I say the ups and downs of being famous, I'm not even just saying for me. I'm not even just saying for me. I'm saying for anybody. I'm literally saying for any famous person. These aren't my ups and downs of being famous. These are the ups and downs of being famous. Also, you can actually be stalked if you put your location out there. So, like, let's just say I'm at an amusement park, right? Let's just say there's creeps, right? And, um, this is not an actual situation. This is just a, an example. Would it be a good idea for me to go live at, um, Disneyland in California? No, because if I'm famous enough, I could either be mugged or I could be, uh, kidnapped. So... I just have to be careful with where I put my location and things like that because I don't put my location on the internet because I know there's dangers with how famous I am so so yeah I mean I, I would be pissed off I love my fans more than anything but I don't want my fans showing up at my house I mean I'm sorry but I don't want my fans showing up at my house at 5 o'clock at night I, I mean I I'm sorry but it's my house My house, my privacy. And anyone else who lives there's privacy. So even though I've had my times of irrelevance and I've had my times of relevance. But yeah, overall I'm technically still famous. So I still technically have to think of these factors. And I know I've always been a controversial person to an extent, but I mean, me just being famous and opening up about my life just like makes that even more of a controversial me a controversial person. But I feel like it's good to be real on the internet, as long as you're not like defaming people and stuff. It's different if you're just like joking around with a celebrity or roasting a celebrity or having some celebrity beef, but honestly. Like, it's good to be famous as long as you're not, like, using your platform to put down random people, if you get what I'm saying. Like, like that's why, I, that's why I never mention names in my story times in my past. Because I like to be open about my life, but I don't want people to take it the wrong way, so. I, I want to feel like <clears throat> YouTube can help me branch out in real life and on the internet, you know? So yeah, I just want to say, like, because when you're famous and you got to constantly make content, you got the pressure on you, you know? It's not the same as when you're not famous. Like, you constantly got to do something to stay relevant, and it's just, it's just not the same, but it's awesome. It's way better, too. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's something I would ever consider quitting. Because... Me doing this internet thing is more than just a future job for me. It's a passion, man. It's a passion. I like to open up to people. I like to... I like to talk to people. I like to entertain people. I like to make people laugh. I like to show off my talents. I like to do all that stuff. And I'm just saying, like... I love all my supporters in real life and on the internet. It's great, so... Thank you for the support, and I appreciate you all. At my school, on the internet, my family, all the support, I appreciate it all, and it's awesome. But I gotta make this last 30 more seconds so I can put an ad at the end of the video and at the beginning of a video. So, how am I gonna make this last 20 more seconds? Hmm. Okay, 14 more seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Okay, now I can have more ads on my videos. And once I get a, get access to a computer for my YouTube, I can have even more ads. But yeah, the ups and downs, all the things I said in this video were to any famous person in general. These aren't even exactly my ups and downs to an extent. Because I love my fans. Oh yes, also when you're famous sometimes like if you're I don't think I'm this famous yet, but if you get like millions of followers, people might just leak your location or your phone number. That's why I don't give my phone number out on the internet because I, I just don't do that because I'm not having I'm not getting my phone number leaked to the point where I'm spammed with calls. I'm not doing that. Unless you are a a real business that wants to do a collaboration with me, you are not receiving my phone number. Or unless you're another super famous TikTok person like me, you will not be receiving my phone number. So please give this video a thumbs up, please comment down below what you thought, share the video, spread the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. And if you want to see me say something or dance or something, pay the money on Cameo and you got it. Thanks for watching.